Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars, uh, Masochism, I believe I'm calling it. Uh, so, uh, last time around, uh, we were just about through our massively long cold wave. Uh, we've been uh, busy accumulating resources. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> I need to, uh, get, uh, get enough uh, research um, underway here to uh, to get to at least the uh, uh, expanded um, um, cargo or passenger capacity for rockets um, so uh, we've done some uh, anomalies uh, I'm going to check here uh, that anomaly needs colonists uh, what's this one uh yeah uh we won't be doing that okay so there's uh there's nothing to do there okay uh so anyway uh let's um start the clock here uh so anyway this is uh a, a playthrough at maximum difficulty uh 1075 percent difficulty and uh uh, right now we're uh, busy uh, setting up to uh, uh, to um, uh, get uh, get our uh, colonists underway. Now you got uh, dust deviled by the look of it, right? So and you're the explorer. Uh, right. Uh, right. I want to look here. Okay, we're, uh, yeah, I'll definitely need to get that repaired. So you, uh, can, uh, head up to here. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to uh, drop a uh, dumping site here and see if uh, that can uh, uh, can deal with those a little bit uh, okay now down here Okay. Now, where's the? Uh... Oh yeah, you're 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 coming. Okay. So, uh, the whole reason I put those uh, dumping sites down is uh, is because that uh, uh, that's uh, built up. Uh, that counts as built up, and uh, uh, it will uh, bust up the uh, dust devils. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to uh, up tempo on time here. Uh, so we'll let this this guy needs to get up there to the uh, um, explorer so we can repair it. Uh, and once uh, once that's repaired, uh, then uh, it will be able to uh, you know move on for the. Uh, uh, the the next um, uh, uh, you know ex exploration thing um, okay so we'll uh, I'm gonna dump uh, a couple more of those around there um, okay now where is it uh, okay we're we're up here uh, okay. And there we go. We're uh, we're repairing the uh, the uh, rover there. Okay, it's repaired. Now we can send this guy back home over here, uh, so you can continue with uh, this here ramp, which is. Uh, a fair chunk of the way toward done. Now, 
uh, with the uh, cold wave done, um, something we can do is uh, close that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so far, so good. Now, uh, hmm. Right. Uh, so, so we're um, basically we're uh, uh, waiting for. Uh, I hope, well, waiting for some stuff to uh, research here. Uh, okay, so the um, these guys are back. They can go back to their uh, prayer at the uh, work site. Um, you know, you know kind of looks like they're uh, doing some sort of praying thing there. Um, right. Uh, okay, so uh, so we survived the uh, the cold wave. That wasn't really much in doubt. Um, right. So we have. Uh, what's the uh, the dome need? Ten polymers. Yeah, we've got what we need to build the basic dome. Um, now what am I going to need in the dome? Um, right, uh, well, I'm going to need a farm, which we haven't researched yet, uh, or a ranch. Hmm. Yeah, ranches uh, provide better food uh, amounts, I think. Uh, right. So I'm going to drop uh, a couple of these in over here as well. Um, yeah, so that should... Um, right. Uh, so I think a ranch for food. Yeah, uh, that's what I'll, I think I'll do. So I'm going to um, uh, plan these things out. So I'm going to put a ranch in there, which I can't do that until I build the dome, right? So I put a ranch, a couple of, uh, of residences, uh, and a uh, and services uh, the whole point being to get uh, maximum birth rate yeah okay uh, so ultimately um, wait what are you you're the you're the transport uh, you automate uh, research uh, lambda industries deep space telescope is performing as planned the amount of information, research. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, let's look in here. What does this cost? Seventeen fifty. Um, I think that's worth uh, researching, but I want to get uh, transport optimization sorted first. Uh, right. Okay. Eight, nine. Okay. Uh, I know there's an anomaly or two going to pop up up here, or at least I'm pretty sure. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, Seventy-seven percent. Uh, you know what would have been really nice is the uh, the one that get, turns excess power into uh, research, the breakthrough. Uh, that would have been really nice. Um, right. Uh, so, where I'm, I kind of. Well, we have a billion in funding. So, 
Um, so what do I need for uh, resources here? Uh, I need more polymers, but I need machine parts and uh, electronics really for the uh, for the maintenance of things and uh, and polymers. So uh, I need to accumulate some more resources, and I need to get um, enough. Uh, uh, I get get extra cargo capacity or passenger capacity if I can before I uh, call any uh... oh meteors um, you oh we found an anomaly up here what did we find what we uh, what we need to do here I'm going to yeah see that just does for them right away uh, so it's kind of a hack, um, kind of a cheat, really. Uh, anyway, uh, the meteors, right? Uh, sometimes meteors are nice uh, when they they leave behind uh, anomalies, uh, research anomalies. Uh, this one. Um, Right. Uh, you know, another uh, explorer would uh, probably uh, not be terrible. Uh, okay, uranium-rich hematite. Rich metals, rare metals. Yeah, we'll do rare metals. Uh, what is that? Uh, 300 rare metals? You know, that's not, not terrible. Um, right. Uh, so... Um, Uh, we're just about done with transport optimization. Um, right. Uh, well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bounce that in. And uh, uh, where's transport optimization? Bounce that back up there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now we'll uh, let this... Uh... Oh, we got planetary anomalies. Uh, geologist... Research progress. Geologist. So we've got a nine drones research progress. Uh, okay. Okay, well, we, we could do that one. Uh, okay, we've got that. Um... Right, uh, you know that's a risk sending the rocket up for that with nine drones, but uh, you know, uh, I think I'm going to do that. Um, uh, nah, I'll send it back to Earth. That's a, a better use of the rocket. Uh, right. Um, anyway, uh, where are we at here? Uh, maybe we can get that uh, experimental rocket uh, uh, event. That would be fun. Uh, okay, what are you doing? Uh, oh, there's there's room yet for that. Um, okay. Um, how's this doing? 70, uh, uh, 70 waste rock left still. It's, you know, it's, it's getting a, a fair ways, uh, along there. Um, right. Okay. Uh, now, where are we here? Um, yeah, so that's making progress. So, uh, you know, we can pretty much ignore that uh, for now. Um, right. Uh, now, where? 
Building's not working. Concrete extractor. Why? Storage space is full. Yes. Okay. Well, it is. Uh, it's not a big, big loss here. Um, but it's because our storages are full. Depot. Concrete. Drop a concrete depot. Aha! That will uh, sort that out. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so basically what I want to do here, okay, I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need a fair bit of resources to uh, get the, keep the colony operational until I can get self-sufficient. And self-sufficiency is going to look like having the project mohole. Um, and that's uh, somewhat, uh, uh, important uh, project mohol. Uh, otherwise, these metal deposits and so on will run out. Um, yeah, uh, and I'm going to need uh, I'm going to need things like water extractors and so on. Um, but the the important bit is oh, we're a quarter of the way through. Uh, space telescope data already um, right okay well we're collecting metal anyway we're gonna have a large collection of that before the colonists arrive uh, that's uh, that's kind of uh, important actually um, where's it going um, where are we collecting from at the moment? Ah, oh, we're doing it over here. Okay. And we've got a meteor storm coming in three souls. Um, well, that could be good or that could be bad. Uh, if our uh, setup here gets clobbered by a meteor, uh, we're pretty much done. Um, if the wrong bits do. Um, right. Uh, new anomalies. What have we got? Uh, breakthrough. Okay. Let's see what that breakthrough is. Okay, we're scanning it. Uh, okay, takes a moment to scan these things. Um, what have we got up here? We still got two more over there, and then five, six. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, go over here. Uh, okay, just about done. Uh, what's the uh, breakthrough going to be? Sustained workload. What's that give us? Doubles the performance bonus when colonists are working on a heavy workload. Uh, okay, that's not terrible, but it's not great. Um, Ooh, shuttle hubs. Uh, those are going to be really important. Um, and you are right. Um, right. Uh, right. I would, I, uh, soil adaptation farm, right. Oh, the farms don't require power. Okay. Um, right. Um, you know, subsurface heating is going to be important, so I'm going to queue that one up. Uh, right. 
uh, let's go back uh, back home here and uh, check in on this uh, 88% it's making progress at least um, yeah uh, over here uh, how's our uh, well that was a that's a pretty rich um, de deposit there um, okay so uh, the uh, meteors uh, that should be uh, interesting um, the extract uh, while well, digging in the dirt, drone stumble, crash supply pod, uh, subsurface heater, MDS lasers, shuttle hub. Hmm. 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 Uh, you would think the triboelectric scrubber would be the ideal choice, but it actually isn't. Because we're playing on the uh, uh, really high... Uh, difficulty like maximum disasters and everything uh, tribal electric scrubbing can't keep up with a with the dust storms we get and uh, yeah uh, and only one scrubber uh, means you still have to maintain the scrubber uh, subsurface heater could be good um, for the dome uh, but we just need to research it they're cheap to make uh, MDS lasers, though, uh, those, they have maintenance. I believe it's, uh, I believe it's electronics, uh, yeah, electronics maintenance. But that would make it practical for us to trigger uh, uh, meteor storms um, or the shuttle hub, which would allow us to, uh, to set up uh, remote domes, uh, and uh, transport stuff uh, between them without uh, complications uh, and uh, colonists for that matter um, I'm actually going for the lasers uh, right uh, okay so uh, let's uh, let's go in here uh, lasers, maintenance, one uh, uh, machine part, and they take 10 power. Um, so if I were to put one here, it would protect most of this area. Yeah. So if I put one there, and then I put one uh, beside the dome. Yeah, then they cover each other off. And then I just need to uh, add a uh, power device, a wind turbine. Uh, wind turbine should be enough, actually. Now, nah, I do have enough power to run this, so let's uh, do it with a power cable. Uh, okay, so I can just, uh, just run a power cable up like that. Uh, okay, so that's going to use up electronics, but... Um, it will uh, protect the, the colony from meteors, and uh, that is well worth it. Uh, well worth it. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, and our rocket made it to Earth. Uh, okay, so so that's, uh, that's... Well, if I check in here... Uh, cargo rocket. Um, now, what can we bring in here? Uh, we have a, you know, a billion funding. So if, if I bring one of those, bring a couple of those, a couple of those, 
those. So if I do that, I think, and maybe a couple more drones. Yeah, launch. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah, so I should be able to maintain everything for a lot longer with that. So, um, now how are we doing on, uh, okay, the telescope data. Uh, so these uh, should help us quite a bit with the thing there. Now this here, oh, we're 93% there. Uh, so that's getting, uh, get, that's ticking along. Um, okay, so far so good. Um, yeah, is this, yeah, that's, that's doing fine. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so I, I'll, um, well, I'll, I'll run this until the uh, meteor storm uh, starts, and then uh, then we'll see uh, see how uh, how that plays out. So I think I'm going to run the uh, uh, drone commander up here uh, next to build the to build this ramp up here. Um, so there's almost certainly going to be uh, anomalies up here. Also down here, but down here gets into the dust uh, more in a dust storm, uh, and it's two parts. Uh, you'd have to build a ramp in the middle to get between from one ramp down, um, right? Uh, so, um, uh, where are we here? Um, right, go down here. Uh, check in on that. 19. Okay, that's uh, making progress. Uh, 12, 11 hours till the meteor storm. Um, I'm kind of hoping the meteor storm drops some anomalies. Uh, that would be really cool. Um, but now that um, that uh, we have a couple of, of lasers, uh, I'm actually, uh, I think, going to uh, risk the rocket on anomaly. Ooh, it's a breakthrough. Um, whoops. Yeah, it's a breakthrough. Uh, so, uh, we'll see what, uh, we'll see what that breakthrough is. Uh, if it's a good breakthrough, then, uh, then I'll be uh, thrilled. But if it's not, I'll be vaguely annoyed. Uh, yeah, only vaguely though. Uh, the whole point of this is that it's a difficult um, mission, right? So, um, yeah. Uh, okay, the meteor storm is uh, coming, and uh, let's see where it uh, impacts. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that could be cryosleep. Cryosleep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's good. That, that, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. You, you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so that means we could bring 34 colonists. Um, on our first, on, on our and our only rocket. Oh, that's good. Uh, so if I can get down the research tree under engineering, is it to the one that uh, that brings us uh, bigger um, uh, passengers? There, another ten. Uh, that would give us uh, uh, forty-four colonists on the initial. Um, Okay, you can uh, you can just come over here, um, right? Uh, the whole idea is to get it out of the way of the um, meteors. 
Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to keep it activated while it's traveling there so that I can dodge the uh, meteors if one comes up in the way. Doesn't look like it's going to... Ooh, it might. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, look, it's not going to hit the colony at least by the look of it. So, uh, so the lasers weren't necessary there. Oh, we got an electrostatic dust storm coming. Uh, right. Uh, that's going to be uh, more than vaguely annoying. But I think the electrostatic ones uh, don't last as long as the uh, the other ones. So. Uh, you know, there's at least that. Um, ooh. Uh, okay. Okay, now you can come up here. Um, a leak was detected. Oh. Where's the... Uh, where's the, uh, this guy, if I move you, where's the leak? Oh, so I'll move you over here. Uh, that should, uh, that should fix that. Okay, when the, uh, when it gets there, so the drones will, uh, go and do their repairs. Um, right. Okay. Need to go and, uh, fix the, uh, power cable, would you? Or you're just going to charge all the drones. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, what, what have we got here? Uh, we could use, ooh, we'll take the sponsor research. Okay. Um, oh, you're uh, not in range of the, the metal. That's why. Uh, now it should fix it. Yeah. Um... Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. That should get... Uh, what is... Okay, now we're... Uh, Transport needs fixing, too. Um, okay. Okay, we get that fixed. Okay, now we've got power, so everything will scurry around and fix everything and... Uh, yeah we'll also land that get him down before the dust storm that would be smart um right okay now where are you oh you're not that far away um okay um, slow down. Uh, okay. Okay, I can close you. Um, y 
you go repair. You Really? Oh, wrong mouse button. Right. You repair. Okay. Now, go. Right. And you turn off automated. Uh, okay, gets repaired. Good. You can go in here. New anomalies, where? Down there. Um, okay, Explorer. Oh, because the ramp's not done yet. Okay, uh, no, we're good. Um, I want to keep these guys here for the du duration of the dust storm. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'll definitely do that. Um, what I want to do is uh, power down the vaporator during the dust storm so it doesn't get maintained. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Okay. Oh, you're full. Uh, pause. Um, what I want to do is go up here and uh, send the expedition. This might be a bad idea. Okay. But it'll get out before the storm. And, uh, it might be back before the storm is here, too. Well, let's, uh, let that finish. We'll see what it does. Um. It would actually be ideal if it gets back before the storm, because then we can empty out the, uh, fuel storage so it won't explode on us. Um, in a lightning strike. Uh, no, it won't be back before the, uh, the storm, because it's 12 hours out. Uh, okay. No, it's, uh, uh, pause. Uh, research complete. Okay. Plant 3,000 science. And we got two free supply pods. Um... Right. Okay. Go. Uh, will you get back in time to land? That is the question. Um, it'd be really good if it does. Well, that was definitely worth sending the uh, rocket up for. That was 3,000 research. Um... Okay, I want to uh, pause this as soon as the uh, rocket gets to... There we go. And uh, that's just so that I can do the clicky thing before... Oh, pause. Uh, I need to turn the vaporator off. Uh, might as well turn that off as well. Um... Turn those off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, okay. You can go. Uh, turning those off means they don't get maintained. And you need to turn off the vaporator before the dust storm gets started. 
uh, or the shutdown for the storm prevents you from doing so and then it will get maintained um, but with it turned off it won't it won't suck up the uh, the metals uh, and this won't suck up the uh, machine parts for the duration uh, yeah two 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 and a half sols there uh, for the uh, uh, for the um, storm so um, so far so good uh, yeah we're we're doing okay here um, okay so we're gonna get enough um, colonists in our uh, first um, rocket uh, that uh, we can actually call our colonists uh, relatively soon now so it's uh, it's possible that I'll be uh, sending for the colonists um, maybe in the next part or the one after uh, I'd expect it to be running up to Sol 150 or 200 before uh, calling colonists here but uh, yeah it looks like that may not be necessary um, yeah well anyway uh, I'm gonna call it apart here so uh, you know stay healthy don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much and uh, see you back next time